Hi, today I am going to discuss about books of original entry and also we call it prime entry books. Now what are these prime entry books? So these are the books uh, a company or a business organization maintain to record different types of transactions. So if you take a business organization, there can be different types of transactions. There can be cash sales, credit sales, cash purchases, credit purchases. So likewise there can be different transaction uh, can take place in a business organization. So these transactions first will be recorded in the books of original entry or prime entry books. After recording all these business transactions in the prime entry books, so those transactions then will be recorded uh, or will be transferred to the ledger. So later on I will be discussing about different types of ledgers. So there can be accounts receivable ledger, accounts payable ledger and general ledger. Shortly I will be discussing those different types of ledgers. Now let's move on to the different types of prime entry books. Now as I told you earlier, if you take a business organization, there can be different types of transaction will take place in a business organization. Namely, we can say credit sales, credit purchases, sales return, purchases return. Then uh, there can be uh, a cash receipt and payments and also other different types of transactions. So therefore, if you take uh, the prime entry books or the business transactions so there can be different types of transactions so first one we can say credit sales okay credit sales and the second transaction we can say credit purchases and the next transaction we can say sales return there again there can be purchases return Okay, then there can be cash receipt and payments. And other transactions, other transactions. So basically, if you take the credit sales, credit purchases, sales return, purchases return, cash receipts and payments and other transactions will be recorded in the books of prime entry or books of original entry. So in order to record credit sales, so what is the type of prime entry books that we maintain? So that book is known as sales day book sales day book or sales journal so in order to record credit sales we have to maintain a book called sales day book then to record credit purchases so we will have to maintain a book called Purchases day book. Purchases day book. Or we can call it purchases journal. In order to record sales return, we have to maintain a book called sales return day book. 
सेल्स रिटर्न डे बुक टू रिकॉर्ड परचेस रिटर्न वी हैव टू मेंटेन अ बुक कॉल परचेस रिटर्न डे बुक टू रिकॉर्ड ऑल कैश ट्रांसेक्शन विल हैव टू मेंटेन टू डिफरेंट कैश बुक्स वन इज द टू रिकॉर्ड मेजर कैश ट्रांसेक्शन यू हैव टू मेंटेन द कैश बुक एंड टू रिकॉर्ड स्मॉल टाइप ऑफ ट्रांसेक्शन वी हैव टू मेंटेन अ बुक कॉल पेटी कैश बुक This is petty cash book. So these uh, different types of cash books will be discussed later. And all the other transaction to record all the other transactions, we will have to maintain a book called General Journal. We call it General Journal. so basically there can be how many day books 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 so seven day books will have to be maintained by an organization to record these different types of transactions so after recording all these transactions in these uh, day books so what we have to do is we need to transfer the totals of these day books to the ledger accounts so all these transactions first it will be recorded in the day books then it will be transferred to the ledger accounts now let's move on to the different types of ledger accounts that will be maintained by a company in order to record these transactions these are the three ledgers that will be uh, maintained by a business organization the first one is the accounts receivable ledger accounts receivable ledger uh, will be maintained to record to record customers individual accounts to record customers individual accounts it will be recorded in the accounts receivable ledger and to record to record supplier suppliers individual accounts so we have to maintain an accounts payable ledger other than the customers and supplier individual accounts all the other ledger accounts will be maintained in the general ledger so what are the types of uh, accounts that will be maintained in the general ledger so like uh, assets fixed assets purchases fixed assets accounts expense accounts income accounts then there can be liability accounts and equity accounts so these are the different types of uh, transactions that will be recorded in different types of ledgers now let's take an example and we'll try to record Uh, these transactions in the books of original entry xyz company sold goods on credit on 1st january 2020 so these are the customers customer a customer b customer c so customer a they sold 1000 dollars customer b 1650 dollars 
and customer C $1,350. So these are credit sales. Okay, so in order to record credit sales, so we have to open a day book called sales day book or sales journal. So what you can do is you can open a sales day book. So you can put the date here, date, description and the amount. It's a simple uh, day book. On 1st January, you can say 1st January 2020, customer A, if you have an invoice number, you can put the invoice number. Amount is $1,000. Then on the same day, customer B, just put the invoice number. 1650 then we have customer C how much 1350 so these are the transactions at the end of the day so what is the total amount that will be recorded in the sales day book so it will be $4,000. The total will be $4,000. So, first and foremost, you need to record these basic transactions in the sales day book. So, after recording in the sales day book, these particular transactions will be transferred to the ledgers. After recording these credit sales transactions in the sales day book, what you have to do is you need to transfer the total of the sales day book balance to the ledger account and also the individual customer balances will be transferred to the respective ledger accounts in the accounts receivable ledger so therefore you need to open this total will be transferred to the sales account in the general ledger the individual balances will be transferred to the uh, the respective individual accounts in the accounts receivable ledger so therefore we have to maintain two ledger accounts the first one is the general ledger in the general ledger you will have sales account so sales account will be credited on 1st January 2020 various debtors the total amount will be 4000 so sales account will be credited then the individual account balances will be transferred in the accounts receivable ledger in the accounts receivable ledger there will be three accounts customer a customer b and customer c so these uh, individual customers will be debited on 1st january 2020 sales one thousand dollars on 1st January 2020, sales $1,650 and customer C will be debited with sales $1,350. So basically what you have to do is the transactions uh, first of all will be recorded in the sales day book. Then from the sales day book, simply transfer to the respective ledger accounts. So the total amount of the sales day book will be transferred to the sales account of in the general ledger and individual customer accounts balances will be transferred to the accounts receivable ledger.